Sometimes you've got to walk in the dark to find the light switch. Do you know what does the word fail stands for? It means first attempt in learning, or second, or third, or fourth. It goes on and on, but the point is that you never give up. Nobody in the world would like to build a life edifice on the foundation of failure. Failure is an orphan and an abominable refrain. Can anybody like failure? I think not. We all work so hard, but does the child's success fall in everybody's lap? What about the poor lady next door who tried to bake a small tiny cake instead burned out half of her kitchen? Or the kid next door who tried to learn by cycling but ended up with muddy clothes and scraped knees? Does it mean that if they failed once, would they never succeed again? Once more, I disagree. Winston Churchill rightly said it. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Everybody in their life has faced failure, one time or another. For me, it was a time when I had the moonwalk phase. Yeah, ironically, we people on Earth want to do the moonwalk, yet, ignoring all these technicalities, I wanted the smooth slide, the smooth glide across the floor, and I did try to do it. And for two seconds, I felt I was at the top of the world. I could do anything out there. I was doing it. But it lasted only for two seconds and ended up with a broken ankle and a quick visit to the hospital. <laughs> Yet, I didn't give up. And I'm still learning bit by bit. Remember, failure is simply a chance to begin again, but this time more intelligently. Many examples bear testimony to this fact. Michael Jordan was cut from his own basketball team. Not because he was too tall, but because he was too short, 5'10". Compared to him, I'm a dwarf with Snow White. Yet, did he give up? No. He continued to surprise the world with his skill. Steve Jobs was fired from his own company. Warren Buffett was rejected by Harvard University. Richard Branson was a high school dropout, though I do not recommend it. Abraham Lincoln lost eight elections, and Thomas Edison failed more than 1,000 times while in trying to invent the light bulb. But did he give up? No. They continued to strive hard and change these failures into success stories. Therefore, if I'm a failure today, I may not be a failure tomorrow. This failure is my teacher, not my undertaker. It's a temporary detour, not a dead end. As Thomas Edison said, I have not failed. I have just found 10,000 ways that won't work. So this failure today has shaped my attitude for success. As Alois just said, said, when we give ourselves permission to fail, we, at the same time, give ourselves permission to excel.